Houston Reese. I've scaled plenty of brands over the last few years. I've done about 3 million in sales from clothing to drop shipping. I've pretty much figured out how to run ads into any type of business model. YouTube, YouTube. Y'all showing so much love right now, man. And I appreciate y'all to the fullest because I ain't gonna lie to you. I was never really comfortable in front of the camera, man. I've been in and out of YouTube. This is my first time really being being consistent, consistent with YouTube, man. You know, growing up, I was shy. I was just to myself. I just take care of my business and I go on about my day. And I was never really comfortable in front of the camera, especially YouTube. But one day, man, one of my mentors came to me and he said, look, I know you don't like being in front of the camera, but you gotta get out of that cool shit. Like you, you trying to be too cool, man. And you really got to share your story. Y'all learning my story and learning my mistakes and learning my success is going to help y'all in the, in the long run, man. And when I realized that, that's what really like, that's when I really started to grow personally and with my brand. So again, I appreciate everybody supporting me, man. Keep the comments coming. All right. Keep the comments coming. If you're having a struggle with your brand, put it in the comments. If you fill in the content, put it in the comments if you're rocking with me put it in the comments man today today is part two of marketing advice with my guy houston reese my ads guy houston reese man if y'all haven't seen that first video make sure you to go check it out i'll put it somewhere here in the um on the screen we gave out so much free game that i told him i told him i said bro we might need to delete that video we gave out so much free game so make sure y'all check out that video and today we're talking about when you should go from organic to paid ads. I know there's a lot of brand owners out there, y'all going crazy organically, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, and y'all looking to run paid ads. So I know y'all wondering, when do, when do I run paid ads? How much do I spend when I start running paid ads? What do I need? We gonna answer everything on this video, man. So make sure to get that pen and pad out. I'm gonna wait till you get that pen and pad out. I'll wait one like a solid eye. I just want to make sure I got that pen and pad, man, because I don't want y'all to just watch this video. I want y'all to take notes. And I don't want y'all to just take notes. I want you to take notes and then take action. Take notes and then take action, all right? So I'm about to go get up with my guy, Houston Reese. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 2K subscribers, man. Again, y'all been showing so much love. I appreciate y'all to the fullest. Make sure y'all join that Discord. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm keep saying it every, every video, I'm gonna say it. Join the Discord, it's completely free. I'm giving you guys so many resources, man. So many resources when it comes to manufacturers, graphic designers, setting up your website, pre-made or pre-order drops, man. Everything is in the Discord and it's completely free. So go ahead and join that, man. I appreciate everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe. Mr. B Special. Let's get it. <coughs> All right, y'all. So today we will be talking about the transition from organic to paid ads. I talk about this all the time on this channel, man, that you can't just rush into paid ads. I know that a lot of you want to get your brand out there and get that notoriety and get that reach. But honestly, you have to build that organic, what do you call it, organic? Um, social proof. You gotta, you gotta build social proof. You gotta build some social proof. You gotta build some social proof. So today, I'm with Reese, man, and just, just give him an introduction on who you are real quick yeah, before sir, we start the video. So I don't know if you guys have seen the first video, but I'm Houston Reese. Um, that's my IG, Houston Diaries. I've scaled plenty of brands over the last few years. I've done about three million in sales, just in the last about two and a half years, from clothing to drop shipping to, you know, service-based businesses. So I've pretty much figured out how to run ads into any type of business model, so. For sure, so Reese has been a big mentor of mine, man. I met Reese back in last December of 2023. Again, my brand was already at around 50,000 in sales, and now we're at almost half a million in sales, man. So mm -hmm. that's in about less than a year. And I've learned so much when it comes to paid ads. This is the guy that taught me. So I wanna share sorry, this knowledge sorry. with you guys. So the first question is, let's see what we got. When should a brand owner transition from organic to paid ads? Like when do they really know that, okay, I'm ready for paid ads? Uh, one of the first indicators that I would say is like, you're getting really good organic feedback, right? If you're posting content and people are actually reacting like genuinely, a lot of people will sometimes fake it and be like, yeah, this is dope, this is dope because they want to support you. But when you get people who don't follow you starting to follow you and, you know, they're wanting to place an order, that's the first sign. So I would always say, you know, continue to, to go organic until you get that one product that really starts to grab that attention, you know. Um, like, for example, I've seen uh, this one brand. It's a faith-based business. It's, it's a child of God. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it. It's yeah, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. super dope tea, but yeah. it's drawing so much attention. That's one of your signs to go pay because now so many people are reaching out organically from right. you. And now it's time for you to go and test out, you know, running that. So I always say, you know, is it a flat lay? Is it a real? Are you doing the storytelling? Like, how is your content? You know, go with that, figure out what actually works for your account. And when you see what works for your account, double down on it. Once you double down on all of that, now start testing out these different ads that are starting to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so say you're say I'm a brand and I've been going crazy on TikTok, mm -hmm. right? I know there's a lot right, of brands right. out there that have been going TikTok crazy on TikTok, getting millions of views, or, you know, a couple hundred thousand views on your TikTok. What if like I just started my brand, I've been going crazy on TikTok for like a month. Can mm -hmm. I do paid ads now? Yeah, it just depends. Like I always say, find a product that works. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, yeah, you need a bunch of views, but find a product that actually is in demand, that's in season. Like right now, Halloween is around the corner. Do right. you have a design for Halloween? Right. You know, fall, is, it, is your collection right for it? You know right. what I'm saying? That's, you gotta be on top of the trends. The reason why we always win, well, the reason why I for sure always win with all of these different brands is because I have seasonal products sometimes. So make sure if you design something a year ago and then boom, bring it back and right. make sure it's in season. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so if you're blowing up on TikTok, yeah, definitely start. It's all about testing first. Like you don't have to jump all in, but go ahead and spend 30, 40, 50 dollars a day on ads and mm -hmm. see if anything starts to resonate. Because, you know, if you can sell to strangers, right? Huh. Like, like, okay, you got followers and then you got people who've never seen your brand, yeah. right? So if you're reaching out to them and they're buying on ads, that means it's time for you. You got a winning product, right? It resonates mm -hmm. with people. You got the right colorways. You got the right. You know what I'm saying? Product. So now it's a good time for you to go in and start testing out ads. So start slow and then start to, right. you know, double down on what actually works. Right. And pay attention. When you're running ads, um, like for your account, uh, flat lays work the best. Yeah. Right? We make all of these dope reels and we have all of these dope people in it. But for some reason, when we do a flat lay, it just booms, it, it booms and it lasts longer than every other uh, content, you know, right. so figure out what works for your for your actual ad account. So we're, so we're talking about product, right? We're mm -hmm. talking about product, and I remember yeah. we, we were talking about this off camera. Mm -hmm. A lot of brand owners are emotionally attached to the oh, product. Yeah. What what what's what's wrong with that? Because mm -hmm. me as a brand owner, I have a mo I'm I'm a little emotional to my product right. because I'm I'm going day in and day out designing my product sketching. and sketching. I'm putting all this time in. I'm like, yeah, this is it right here. This is it, and then somebody like you or a marketing agency comes to me is like that's not it yeah. that's that's not what the what the world wants now i'm like in my feelings but you're telling me the right information but i'm emotionally attached to my product so so tell us so us about so that. first off i've seen more than enough brands like way too many more than i can count um get emotionally attached to a product and that's the number one rule for me as a marketing agency i don't care how much time how much money i put into a product if it's not selling it's not going to sell I tell people a lot of the time, your first product usually isn't your boomer. Like mm -hmm. you right. usually don't hit that first product. Right. Like the people who are actually doing well, ask them to see their first product and they'll tell you it wasn't that. It wasn't that. For I'll reason, show you right? my first product yeah. right here. I'm gonna yeah. put it right here in the video. Go I'm gonna show, show you my first product. It's usually never that first that. product. So um, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that I tell people is, is, you know, I always see this. They'll be like, oh no, no, next time I just need to do this. Yeah. And then they see more money in it. Oh, it didn't. It didn't work because I didn't have this set up right. And right. then they see more money into it. And then before you know it, you're negative ten thousand on one shirt because you thought it was. Yeah, set. yeah, yeah. Um, the second yeah. thing is, is create. I create product for a community, right? First, right. I go and find who is it that I'm creating for, right? With this, we know what style. You know what type of people are actually going to wear this style stuff. You know, right. you got to be a little flashier. You got to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just. You got to put it on. You got to really know how to put it on. Yeah. And then that's another thing. Are you? getting the right influencers or are you styling it right? One of the best things that Elo does is that he knows how to find the right influencer that can actually wear the product so that we can create that lifestyle, that look, you know what I'm saying, that aesthetic, right? Because right. if you put somebody dingy and some, <laughs> and some shit that's yeah. really fly, ain't, go, ain't nobody go buy it. So you got to understand who you're actually making the product for um, and don't 
if it didn't move on. Here's another thing that I see a lot of people do. Sure. They don't go back to what actually was selling. Yeah, I don't understand it. I, I never understand it I either. Uh, I uh, see are you guys tired of it? Are you tired of the design? It's working. Why you guys stop? Why do you guys stop selling it? I don't, I've never got For me, it's all about the money. Like, I only want to sell what's actually selling. Like, I'm not emotionally attached to it. My goal at the end of the day as a marketer is to run the, the numbers up. Right? Exactly. So if you're emotionally attached to this new hat, for example, mm -hmm. and the hat ain't getting the feedback when I put the ads on it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you, let's go back to the jacket because yeah. the jacket is going crazy. The jacket's going crazy. I gotta put up numbers on the board, so I'm right. not attached to that hat. You could be right. attached to it, you can do that with your already existing customers, but when I put it on ads, it's showing me it ain't working, so why right. am I gonna keep trying to force it to work? Exactly. More, more money isn't gonna make them make a purchase. Not at all. So, and, and I know a lot of y'all watching, you guys wanna run paid ads for your brand, right? Some of y'all that are watching are not currently running ads or you just started running ads. This is what comes with it, right? If you have a winning product and you mm -hmm. get away from that winning product and try something new and it flops, you can't get in your feelings because you have to go back to that winning product. Like, yeah. at least you have a winning product. <laughs> Man, one of the one of the, the, the best things that I learned doing this, I've, I've, I've probably spent about a million a million plus on ads at this point is you have to know when to move on. The best thing that you can do is pivot. Like you have to know when to go back to something or when to turn. Like I, I've created so many different brands just when I was dropshipping and stuff like that because if it didn't hit, like I can't, I can't sit and drown myself mm -hmm. right. in that right. in that sorrow because my shit's not selling. Like you right. can't do that. You have to have a short memory. You yeah. know that was one thing that I learned in baseball. Like the people who were the most successful. You know what I'm saying? Three out of 10 times is a, is a win. Yeah. You know, that's a 300% bad average, yeah. right? Let's yeah. put that on Shopify. Three out of, the, if you get a 3% conversion rate, that's really good, really right? Good. You're killing. Yeah. So you can't remember those those seven failures. You gotta know how to move on to that next, that next win. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about that next at bat. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta pivot. You can't be like, oh man, my drop flopped. Maybe yeah. it's not for me. Like yeah. I see a lot of people get down on that. And that's not that's not how it works. You gotta just you gotta constantly to create. Adapt. People you support uh, consistency. That's another right. thing. He keeps dropping new products. So when you're consistent and you show that you can do it again and again, and you're not just stuck in this one box making graphic tees. Now you're going cut and sew. Now you're making custom socks. Now you're making custom shorts. You know what I'm saying? Continuously improve if this is what you want to do. But y'all can't expect that very first drop to be the one that's going to save your life and Can't do change it. your world you know what i'm saying there it. is I, very few people had that happen to me i've met a lot of brand owners man i even meet brand owners to this day where they're like yeah bro this is my first drop this the one right here this mm -hmm. the one that's gonna take us out the hood boom boom yeah. boom and i'm just like all right man it's fire but you gotta you gotta serve it to the people mm -hmm. you gotta see what the people like it's not up to you <laughs> the people are the one that's giving you the yeah. money like i'm not giving you i'm not gonna give you the money like yep. you gotta go test it man that's that's really what it is it's all about testing at the end of the day man so don't get emotionally attached to your product man if you guys want to run a business and really scale and really take it in the long run mm -hmm. you can't get emotional with your products you man you if you got a winning product you got it you got it go back that. test it you man you gotta squeeze out all of the you juice of it man it. i see y'all not y'all y'all aren't squeezing out the juice of y'all products because y'all don't understand the longevity y'all be so quick to want to move on to the next product we spoke a lot a lot about that in the last video Thanks. um but i really want y'all to really think about it man go look at your sales like yeah Money is, is data, numbers numbers are what drive sales, right? So go and see, what was your best day? What did you post? Go mm -hmm. through your Shopify, what did you post that day that made mm -hmm. your sales go crazy? Right. How did you market your drop? You know what I'm saying? Um, go back to that winning product and see what's selling the most. Your Shopify dashboard is gonna tell you your best product. That's what right. I think you should test. Right. Go right. back, go back and see what really had the most motion for you and, and try testing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to constantly create, man. All you need is one product. And I've seen one, one product turn people into millionaires like like actually one product that's all it takes sometimes and, you know and we had this experience this year right um my move to you right i'll put mm -hmm. a picture right here i know you guys probably have seen this uh this shirt before man this shirt right here went viral mm -hmm. and i ain't gonna lie when i first made the shirt i didn't think it was gonna go crazy like that but once i posted it and i saw the traction that it was getting the reach that it was getting and we dropped it and then started running ads on it mm -hmm. it just blew up it, just, it blew up and it was just a simple t-shirt with like 10 words on it that movie scared to make might be the one mm -hmm. right and it was something that could really make you think it's something that can make you have a conversation and i feel like 
that winning product has to have that wow factor. Yeah, wow factor. It that has wow to factor. be a conversation starter. It has to, you know, people have to be able to see it from a mile away and be like, yo, that's that shit. Exactly. Or they have to compliment. One thing that we do is we make products that people have to speak on. Exactly. Um, you have to, when we, you have to acknowledge, you know, all of the buttons or mm-hmm. all of the diamonds on it or mm-hmm. whatever, you know, it's the tapestries. I don't know if you guys have seen the tapestries, but, you know, it's something that people have to acknowledge so that it creates that controversy or that conversation. If, if it does those two things, or it just fly, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, or if it just fly. Or just fly, your, you know, your threads are right, you know what I'm saying? Or so, you get it on the right influencer. Or you get it on the right person. You feel me? Like, cause yeah. you, it could be the simplest shit ever, and Chris Brown wear it, it's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wrap, you feel me? What are some things that you look for from a brand before you suggest they run ads? You probably kind of already answered this, but no, no, no. I want to kind of elaborate on that because a lot of people think just because they got a product, they're ready for ads. Yeah. And uh, first off, I'm going to go and look and I'm going to see, for me, I know I can scale, right? Um, so what's your supply chain like? Do you actually have your fulfillment in order, right? Is that actually, do you have that buckle down? Don't try to scale and you're not prepared to scale. Make sure you understand everything with your manufacturer first, right? If you were to go and sell 100 pieces and you only have 50, how fast can you get that, get next, that, that, that next 50, right? right? And think about it. If you're doing like 30 to 50 orders a day, how fast can they keep up with that? Not only shipping time, but as far as manufacturing, that's going to be the first thing. Fact. Because if that breaks, you're not going to be able to scale and then you're going to be in a worse position. Before yeah, we, go I'm ahead, sorry, go ahead. Off, I'm going to tell you my experience. This, see, I'm... Listen, we, man, this, we, we got to completely real, trans, <laughs> yeah, we I'm completely transparent real. with y'all, man. I had this same problem when I, back in like June, right? Mm-hmm. June, we had our biggest month, 75 in a month, 75K in a month. And at that point, my manufacturer couldn't keep up. We was doing like, again, 30 to 50 orders a day. Mm-hmm. So what is that? 50, what is that? Like 50 times 50, 250 like, orders a week. It's like 300 orders a week, orders a week right? Multiple products. You know multiple colors all that type of stuff so my manufacturer couldn't keep up so we got we got backtracked man and and a lot of things went down so just make sure your manufacturing mm-hmm. is on point man it got to be on point because these customers are going to blow you up yep. if you're late if you're late shipping their product man yep. so make sure you got that fulfillment down because yep. that's that's one of the biggest things right there next sure. had that customer service down um that's another big thing you know what i'm saying a lot of people think it's about selling clothes and it's not it's about running a business yeah so do you have your business set up to be able to win and scale right because if you can't keep up with supply you can't keep up with customer service you're never going to get a repeat customer And the game that i play is is how can i get them to buy again again right yep. y'all y'all are so focused on that very first customer you know, or that, that order that just came through, y'all aren't thinking that this is the same person that's gonna buy again right. and again and again. You know, you right. gotta market the same product 365 days a year is how I look at it, right? So how can I sell this to them, yeah. right? Am I selling it because they understand that as soon as they order, they're gonna get it in three to five days? Are they selling it, are they buying it because I'm constantly dropping some new dope shit? Mm-hmm. So those are two of the first things on the back end. The money doesn't mean nothing. It's, not, it's never gonna last if that back end isn't set up, right? Two, um, how's your website, right? Yeah. Before you get started, before I'm looking at product, I want to make sure that your website is optimized. What's your conversion rate like, right? If you're at one percent, how can you get it to a two? Okay, I'm gonna look at your shipping. Are you charging too much for shipping? Because I see people overcharge for shipping. Instead of charging for shipping, sometimes I'll increase the price of the product five, six, free seven dollars, right? And do free shipping. Yeah. Um, three is your offer good, right? Can you make a better offer? Every time I run ads, my objective is to get at least $100 out of the order value, between $100 and $150, right? So what does that mean? Instead of me pushing just for a jacket, do I also have a bundle together so that now when they come, I already have the matching, you know, if I'm doing a hoodie, yeah. do I actually have the sweats? The sweats with it, and, yeah. and do you have shorts? Yeah. Those all should be bundled on one landing page. Yeah. So get that together. Nice. Average order value is what's made me millions of dollars yeah. doing this shit, and it's because you know, you're already spending $20, $30 to acquire a customer. So if you only have a $75 hoodie, you're not really leaving yourself Probably with too good. much margin unless right. you bundle, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And that's good advice for you, Brad. It's big advice. Watching right now. It's, big advice. It's big advice. Because winter's coming up, it's Q4 right now, man. Yeah. You, winter's coming up and sweatsuits are gonna be in, hoodies, uh, pants, yeah. all that type of stuff. If you're doing a sweatsuit, man, sell it separately, mm-hmm. right? 
and then bundle it, right? Mm -hmm. So now you got three options. They can buy the hoodie, they can buy the pants, or they can buy the hoodie and the pants mm -hmm. as a bundle, right. right? So that's just some free sauce for y'all. That's a free game. Um, so <laughs> that's, free that's, game that's, that's what's kept me afloat when it comes to running ads is making sure that my profit margins is right, right? So fourth one is, do you know your numbers? Mm -hmm. If you don't know your fucking numbers, how can you scale and, that you and, don't know? And elaborate on that, like what are, what, so, are, what numbers? What, what numbers are okay, so about? here's some of the things. Um, and I might even I might even hook them up with a with a cheat sheet for for actually knowing their numbers. Right? Matter of fact, we we gonna give you a we gonna give you we'll a, give you a free cheat sheet, man. Go go ahead and hit that link in the description. We go gonna ahead label and subscribe, it. Subscribe, follow, do all of that. Listen, man. we'll give we you a free through. cheat sheet to learn your numbers, man. Go ahead and look at the description. Reese is gonna provide so, a free cheat sheet for y'all. Tap in. So some of the numbers that a lot of people and brand owners, the first thing that I noticed is that they don't know is the actual true cost, right? There's a true cost. So you have the cost that it costs from your manufacturer, right? Yeah. You got to know what it costs you lend it, right? Yeah. You also got to know what your actual, uh, your shipping cost is. So when you put this, what's the weight of this and how much are they going to actually charge? Because exactly. you got to know that, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. like, that could be four to $6 possible mm -hmm. now if i'm doing a bundle mm -hmm. am i calculating how heavy the 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 hoodie and, and the sweats are yeah, right yeah, now yeah. that's 12 dollars. let's say right. for example right. are, are you putting that inside of your price is that a part of your shipping fees mm -hmm. or whatever so make sure you know that then you got packaging costs packaging costs a lot of people don't understand but that's still a cost you yeah, know what I'm saying? A, cost. a lot of brand owners don't know all of their true costs you got packaging costs you got print costs you got all of your fees and taxes when yeah. it comes overseas yeah. you know he might be charging you 12 but you're also having to pay for all of these additional fees right. when it comes across the water shipping right? fees to shipping the customer fees. right right yeah. right yeah. i also want to know you know if i'm charging 120 dollars and i'm giving a 10 percent discount what does that actual profit come out to after all of those numbers after, are included yeah Right, yeah. so it's just a lot of things that you have to know before you can scale, and a lot of people just think about getting that sale. Y'all are so hyped on getting that sale, and then before you know it, your brands are upside down ten, fifteen thousand because you didn't calculate. You, guys, you didn't do your math. You are yeah. a brand owner. You're, you're not just a person that's designing clothes no more. This isn't the little leagues no more. This Facts. is the big leagues. So you got to actually operate your brand like that. Yep. Not only that, you got taxes at the end of the year. Are you calculating that? Do you understand about that? So it's just a lot of little things that I would say you should do before we even, this is just, before, this is this is ABC before you yeah. get to X, Y, and Z, you know what I'm saying? Tell me, um, tell me. So after that, I also wanna know. Um, Wait, let, let me let me elaborate on that real quick, man. There's a lot of young brand owners watching, mm -hmm. man. There's a lot of youngins out here, right? I'm 25 years old, so there's a lot of the youngins out there. When I say youngins, I'm talking like 16 year old, y'all going crazy, hundreds of thousands of shit. Yeah. But look, y'all get that, 20k payout and y'all think that 20k is just for you y'all go to the mall at the same day yeah you so can't that, do that 20k hit like y'all cannot man, do that the, man that'd be the problem that. that'd be the problem y'all get to spinning it so fast y'all get to spinning it so fast like it's yours and it's not the only way to get to these six figure months these seven figure years is by doubling down like y'all aren't doubling down on y'all shit because y'all want to live a lifestyle stop trying to live that lifestyle get away from that shit like yeah dumb it down for a year and a half all of the big people you should be thinking about how can i get to a warehouse fast how can i say to get to a warehouse fast or not how fast can i get a bus down how can <laughs> how can i get a, a m4 bmw like y'all are doing too much stay away from that shit man that shit is a facade i've yes. had every car i've done all of that stuff it didn't do nothing for me yeah. if i would have doubled down or reinvested into better packaging to more customer service reps to uh, a warehouse, you know, a warehouse, uh, email marketing agency, or anything better that I was looking at, better manufacturers. Am I testing? Do I have a backup manufacturer? Yeah. No, none of y'all. Some of y'all are just stuck with one. Mm -hmm. um, I had a brand where uh, we were doing a swim line, and the manufacturer, actual their warehouse burned down, and we, we couldn't do shit yeah. for a long time. So, what's your backup if you're scaling? You know what I'm saying? If you're doing five thousand a day. And something like that happens, what do you do? You right. don't have a backup because everything is sweet. And I always tell people, you don't learn shit when the money is good. And like anybody that I know that's winning right now, when the money is good, they don't know. They're just relaxed, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, it, and complacent. They don't so, want to take that next step. Y'all don't want to take that next step to scale, man. Like y'all get that that nice payout, that, that money. That's that's the problem. It's money they've never seen. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've never seen. Y'all never seen. That's your business money, man. You should definitely be thinking about reinvesting, man. Continuously go through the motions of a business owner, right? You chat GPT, ask, hey, how can I improve my business? How can I optimize my business? That's what you should be looking at. How can you optimize your business and your time? How can I 
okay, should I get a 3PL now? Because now me and my family, we can't afford to be sitting here in this little apartment uh, fulfilling all of these orders. And now you, I've outgrown it. Define a 3PL for, for the people that know what, don't know what a 3PL is. So 3PL is a shipping agency where you can go in and drop your like your your uh, supplier can Amazon. send directly yeah. to them and then they can go in and send directly to your customer so that you're not having to pack orders you know, yourself. Pack orders yourself. Um, so it's good at, at a certain point you guys want to get a 3PL and then you just usually pay like $1.52 yeah. um, and you know we can probably connect them with some good 3PLs out here sure, in the US sure. so that's a good thing but to get back to it man because I kind of went on a tangent because I hate skipping steps man I won't let y'all skip steps if that's one thing about me is I've, I've made all the mistakes so I'm not going to let you guys skip these steps because y'all are thinking about how to scale and get more sales and all of that stuff and the, the real reason that you get more sales is because you've shown that you are a good business to buy from. Right. So have all of that stuff on the back end and then when it comes to the content, now, uh, just to go back to your question is, when I see a brand has a product in high demand, a unique product, mm -hmm. right? Like for you, you had a tapestry and mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, not only is it, you know, something something that you created that was already dope, but yeah. I can create more of it Fact. and have less competition. So I Fact. thought that was a really good thing. So create a unique product. I was just looking at Bottega Desires. They do a double cap hat. Nobody has that. Shout out right? Bottega, man. They Bottega, did a double, doing double collar joint on the T, like crazy. Yeah, go unique. Um, if you have a unique product, man, you scale your unique product. Sometimes it isn't that first design. So if you created something that's really dope that people fuck with, Maybe, you know, you put something on it that didn't resonate with people, just like how he did with the 10 word, you know? Mm -hmm. That really resonated. We go see how Common is Born resonates with people. And, and, it, and you have like an exotic look on it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it just, you know, the message and the, and the garment the piece, actually, the it speaks for itself, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Not only that, but once you already are starting to blow up, now it's just time to test. Like, y'all yeah. gotta stop being on the fence. Y'all are contemplating, y'all are, doing everything to talk yourself out of running ads for some right. reason, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Understand. Right now is the time to run ads. This mm -hmm. is the best time. It's Q4 for one, y'all yeah. should, should be prepared. I, I looked it up the other day, man. This is where companies make 60 to 70% of their revenue. For the Be entire between year. September and December, they make 60 to 70% of their revenue around this time. And we're talking billion dollar companies. So uh, the market is gonna be flood. Another thing, be preparing yourself for Q4. Yeah. <laughs> Start bringing back all your old shit, right? Yeah. Whatever sold in the past, bring it back. If they really wanted it, bring it back for them. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Um, figure out really good bundles. Start advertising your sale. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Start putting yourself together. Start advertising it. Um, I got a really cool email guy where it's like all of the flows, the dates, mm -hmm. the calendar, because a lot of people don't know. People just think Black Friday, but it's Cyber Monday, yeah. Black Friday, yeah. you know, Christmas is right after that, Thanksgiving, yeah, Halloween. Are you running these sales? Are you, do you have your automate? Are you thinking about that? Perfect. Are you thinking about it? No, you just think about getting a sale today. Yeah. Business owners that I know that we run, we're not thinking about today. We're preparing for, you know, the future, the end of the year, the Q4, like stop. You got to change your whole mindset and you got to really start thinking about what's about right. to happen these last three months of the year. Right. How can you be in a position to scale? Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a lot of sauce, too man. much free it's, game. It's a lot of sauce. <laughs> I don't know how to too do much this. free game, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. This is another 20k video, man. It has to be another 20k video. Listen, before we get out of here, man, because we, I mean, y'all can see it as a yap session, but we just gave y'all some crazy, crazy game. And I, I, again, I'm gonna tell y'all. I hope y'all got y'all pen and pad, man, for real, for real, because again, it's Q4 and this is the most important time for clothing brands, man. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'm gonna say is people watching that, again, are still on the fence to really take the risk and spend money to get money. Mm -hmm. So what is, the, what is the number one advice you have? You've done millions of dollars with these brands. Mm -hmm. So the people that are really on the fence, just scared to really just take that step. What, what, you, what do you have for them? What type of advice you got for them? Well, first off, I'm gonna say scared money don't make money. I don't know one person that's scared to spend any money <laughs> Not that's, making. that's making money. Like if you aren't willing to work to make money, you don't believe in yourself. That's At first all. and foremost. That's gonna be the first indicator that you don't truly believe in yourself. I understand that you know people are in bad positions, but I don't. I don't. I'll be outside selling 
uh, chips and water on the corner Real if talk. I had a dream and a good product. You know what I'm saying? To get money to spend on ads. Y'all not really investing in y'all sales. Mm -hmm. Y'all be saying y'all investing in y'all sales and y'all be letting, you know, no sales or bad drops put y'all down. You got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? You got to really double down and invest in yourself. And that right. shit sounds cliche as fuck, but yeah, reinvesting in yourself is not going to not going to the party and you know knowing you about to spend $40 uh, not going to the bar not going to date night and saying Locking hey in. this dude got this course and he got this cheat sheet yeah. let me invest in that i finally right. got that extra $30 i, I finally got y'all got to figure out how to how to shorten your learning curve y'all got to learn how to separate fun from taking care of business man yeah. what do you, what do you really want here. in life man <laughs> what do you out here we got to we got to really know what's important at this point like, what, what do you guys really want in life that's all you know, is. I'm here to save my family. So if if it's this or that, I'm always pick the one that is actually gonna take me down the path that I want to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I would say invest in yourself. I started off investing in coaches. I said I know I want to do this. I already knew that marketing, e-commerce is never gonna go nowhere. Instagram and TikTok are the biggest malls in the entire world, bro. There's shoppers all day that are live actively swiping, right? right? How can I get my shit in front of them? Right. And I realized it's a pay-to-play game. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I've always know how to find those products, but I never knew how to get it out there. Yeah, so yeah. if I can make one picture, one video, one ad, one carousel, connect with one influencer right. and get in front of all of these people, yeah. all I got to do is pay to get in front of them. Why wait if your organic shit's not booming? Pay to play, you know what I'm saying? But I will say, a lot of y'all don't know what y'all are doing, so it's good to actually invest in someone like That's me right. or someone like Elo who yeah. knows you know, have been there. You want to right. invest in people that are coming back from where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I invested in my first mentor and he took me from here to goddamn here mm -hmm. within a week because the amount of information that I learned and I had to pay a little fee. I ain't gonna lie. My first mentor, I paid him $500 just to show me how to do something. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to do it in a week. Rather than rather than Whoa. my ego taking over and being like, I could figure this shit out on my own. I'm gonna go YouTube, go figure this shit out. Yeah. Now it's gonna take me a whole year to figure it out, mm -hmm. and I don't even know if I'm figuring it out right. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm right. doing it right. right. But I'd rather learn from somebody that doing it now, got the numbers, actually doing it, and I'm gonna pay them because they've they've taken the time to learn it on their own. So I'm gonna pay for their mm -hmm. time. That's what y'all gotta realize. Y'all be hitting us up on some like. <laughs> What they yo, getting so, yo, yo, like, bro, help yo, me, help me, like, help me, help yo, me with what? what run run these ads with? for me, bro. Run these ads for me, bro. Like, what's up? Like, damn, I, or even my homies. Like, I mean, I don't even really want to mention the homies, but like, sometimes the homies are hit me up, like, hey, bro, can you do this for free for me? And it's just like, honestly, G, like, keep it a hundred with you. You my man's, but it's like, you got it. I took time to really, yeah, I put nice. work into this shit. Yeah. You won't have to throw me a little this, something. This <laughs> valuable information. This valuable information. This valuable information, man. Uh, I started off, my first mentor was 7,500. I went, I went straight big dog. I, Crazy. I said, and it is no one above the other, but still, I spent 7,500 because I really wanted to know everything. I, I, I wanted a person who knew everything that I was going to run into. So I tell people, you're not paying me for my time alone. You're paying me for my mistakes. I've already made the mistakes for you. I've already, I can shorten that. I can make sure that you don't have to, you know, run into that same wall that I've run into a hundred times, running all of these different brands. You know what I'm saying? So right. when you pay someone like me, that's already there, you want to make sure you have the right questions, man. Y'all be asking some dumbass questions. Like, Y'all be so mad. Like, bro, like, why are you asking me? Is you pay and this is all, that lets me know you're not prepared. You're not prepared you're not ready. yourself. That lets me know ready. how you waking up in the morning and what your day is about. You're not figuring out, like, this is my plan. You, this is where I want to shoot. It's not well thought out. Y'all aren't well thought out, man. It's so easy. I've only been in clothing for two years, bro. Mm -hmm. And I'm already working with, I didn't even tell you, I just got off the phone with Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. I'm working with Money Bag, yo. Mm -hmm. I just did something for the, the power cast. Mm -hmm. Like, it just is all opportunities, but you got to know how to create your own value. For me, I knew it was, if I learned how to build a website and I knew I was really good at uh, uh, running ads, that I have a reason for people to come in and talk to me and I can walk into any room, right? right. So right. figure out what you're good at. If you're good at graphic design, take that shit serious. Reinvest yeah. in it. Yeah. Go and invest into better graphic designers yeah. and see what they're doing and see how that, you know, uh, what can they do? Can they show you how to do AI mm -hmm. and incorporate that, right? Mm -hmm. Go study other brand owners. Y'all aren't copying the right people. I can't yeah. tell. The most popular thing that I said in the last video apparently was 
it's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat. Right. You guys are letting me know that y'all aren't doing your research. Y'all are trying to create the will instead of, you know, the will has already been created. So go and find the right person who has all of the knowledge, who's doing it correctly. If you see that they, they're doing it, it's okay to put your own sauce on it right. and take that inspiration. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are just copy. You know what I'm saying? Straight copy. Just straight. No, you don't even put your own taste on no it. Just, taste, no taste, like, no. Strictly just not. look and write. Because Let's what people right. are going to do is they're going to say, oh, he's an originator. They're going to think about us before they think about you if you just go and copy the brand. They're going right. to say, oh, he's doing tapestry that's just like Be Special. And guess what? They go come to our page. Yeah. Right? So yeah. what I mean by that is, is, you know, go and get the right information whether you gotta pay for it, you gotta do your research if you ain't got the money and go fucking go hustle, bro. Y'all don't be hustling enough. Y'all gotta hear, realize. I'm so tired of sob stories. Don't come in my DMs and stop. Stop. I don't care. Whatever it is, I don't care. I got two kids. <laughs> I got a lot of shit going on, bro. I don't wanna hear it. Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I swear to you, bro. I don't have time for that. Y'all <laughs> stop coming with the sob stories because nobody cares. Nobody's here to save you. You know what I'm saying? Have your money right. Have your information, have your questions right, and invest in yourself, man. If you really want to get it, that's I don't sugarcoat. I don't, I don't nothing. Mean, you know me. It's bro. real, man. It, it, this is weak, real. This week, I'm telling you, this shit. This weak. is real, man. You need to, you need to go back to the drawing board. That's exactly how. That little nose, man. I'm not. Y'all gotta not. realize, man. Y'all gotta realize, time is so much more valuable than money. You can get oh, money. Man. You can get money back the next day, but yeah. you can't get that time, man. Mm -hmm. You can't. Well, I can't. We can't get the time back that we just recorded this video for y'all. Yeah. We, he could have been with his kids, take, you know, right spending now. time with his kids right now. I could have been working on my brand right now, but instead we're doing a whole 20, 30 minute video giving y'all some free game trying to help y'all. Right. You feel me? So y'all just got to realize that, man. It, it, you got to come correct, man. You got you to gotta take yourself more serious and come correct for you. Because the way you treat yourself is the way I'm going to treat you. You know what I'm Real saying? Talk. Like. If you're not invested in yourself, I'm gonna treat you like somebody that don't invest in yourself. I'm right. gonna give you half ass game because I know you're not gonna apply it, right. right? But if I see you come here, you got 15 questions on a call, ready to go. They're serious questions that you're not asking that something that I could have Google searched. You could have yeah. Google searched that. Yeah. You could have YouTube that. How do I connect my pixel? It's 250 yeah. videos on Facebook of how, how to, to do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the minute that you show me you're not serious about yourself, you know, it's go trickle down to all of the other people because you you're just gonna have that I'm looking for help type of mentality. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta get out of that shit. You gotta figure it out. Nobody else is gonna figure it Nobody out. Nobody gonna hold your hand. Nobody's gonna hold Nobody's your hand. Nobody's gonna hold your hand. And they gonna start holding your hand when you're doing numbers like me and L right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they gonna right. wanna hold your hand, right? right? He did all of the steps that he was supposed to take to be able to scale. He didn't quit. He kept going. He kept making content. He kept innovating. You know what I'm saying? He kept getting with influencers. He kept building his network. So those are the type of things that it takes for you to be able to take your brand to the next level. And then eventually the shit's going to happen. You just got to be consistent. You got to keep investing in yourself. It's you versus you, man. It's you versus you. It's you oh. versus you at the end of the day. Look, too much free game, man. I hope y'all had a pen and pad out writing down notes. If you didn't, rewind the video, man, and watch it again because... I don't see too much content like this on YouTube, man. And we giving y'all the real. We giving y'all the real, 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 the real, man, for real. Listen, if you want to get in contact with Houston Reese, all his information will be in the description, man. Yes, if you think your brand is ready to run ads, go ahead and book that onboarding call with Reese. And, you know, we're going we gonna, to we gonna see what you got. Right, we're going right, to see what you got, man. We're going to see if you're really there. We're going to see what you got. If y'all want an example of what a brand that is ready to run ads looks like, Go ahead and check out my brand. Mm -hmm. Link in the description, man, at Be Special TM. Um, you got anything else for him? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think I spilled enough for y'all, man. <laughs> we done did. We done did a lot. <laughs> two two Til part three, time. man. Two Til part three. three. Hey, man, like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 2K followers, man. I appreciate everybody showing love. I'm going to keep giving y'all this free game, man. I'm going to keep linking up with guys like this, doing billion dollars in sales. And we just going to keep blessing y'all with that free game, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Mr. Be Special, we out. Let's go.